The Air Force men's soccer team is coming off one of the best seasons in school history. And despite losing all but one starter from that team, they've done quite well so far in exhibition play. They're surprising me, you know, and it's a good surprise where they're, they're willing to compete and uh, the, the freshmen that were preppies, I think, stepped up pretty big. And there's some other freshmen and, and sophomores that, you know, if you look at it, there's not a lot of people that had a lot of playing time with 10, 10 starters gone, nine seniors. That's a lot of experience. And it's nine of those seniors, four of them were preppies. So I think when you say, all right, guys, just take it step by step. But, you know, they've been playing the game a long time, play within their limits, play to their strengths. This team can be good. Um, we're not getting, uh, we're going to stay humble because we know there's an awakening call just around the corner. So just doing your function within the team and doing your job and I think the, collectively the team's doing well. Last year I didn't get to play that much but I got in a few games. Uh, this year getting the starting job a little bit and uh, it's just really exciting to get out there and play with all the boys. We got a really young team so a bunch of us in our class are starting. It's, it's awesome to be playing with them. You know, it's hard to replace players, but we got a bunch of good young guys, and they're stepping up to the role really well, and so that's good. That's exciting for the season. If this team is going to be successful this year, it might take a bit of strategy change. The prolific scorers of the past are gone, so the emphasis will shift almost totally to defense. You know, we emphasize defense a lot, but it's all 11 guys defending, not just the defense. And that's something we talk about a lot. You know, it's the forwards tracking back, the outside mids getting back, and just putting the effort in to do that, and we do that really well. Yeah, it's kind of changed since last year. Obviously, we had a lot of attacking threats um, with the seniors, but now that they're gone, we're kind of, we've kind of had to morph our playing style. Um, to be really solid defensively and then get maybe one or two goals a game. So um, it's a lot of work for us, but we're liking the challenge. It's just communication. Uh, Coach Doyle has been helping us a lot recently with our positioning, talking to us about where we need to be, how to support each other best, how to cover for each other. So when we just work about the communication, figuring out where we need to be right, it's really easy at that point. We're in the right position. It's not hard to do the right things. If I gave kudos to our team, is their willingness to learn and accept the, maybe a press that they haven't pressed with the, the forwards and our midfield running and the quick the transition from offense to defense and defense to offense because the college game is one on transition. Young teams don't do it all the time, but they're picking up quick and there's players stepping up and making marks. The Falcons hope to start making real marks with a win on the road in the opener against Army. Uh, you know, it's a big rivalry. It's always a fiery game. I've been lucky to be a part of two games against Army so far, and they've been tough, both of them. So I expect that, you know, a good atmosphere at Army. So tough to start out on the road, but I think we'll rise to the challenge and it should be a fun one. What will you tell the younger guys who've never done it before? you got two under your belt. Is it different when you play Army? It is different because, you know, it's a rivalry, and there's that service academy thing, and it's a big pride thing. But it's just another game, and you got to come out and play your game and not let the... Yeah, atmosphere gets you, and you know they'll. I believe in them, and I think they'll do it. So I'm excited. Oh, I'm super excited. I've heard stories about it for from years past, and I can't wait to go. And I heard the atmosphere is just crazy, so I can't wait to be there. Super excited. You know, it's going to be a big game, uh, physical, fast, and I mean, I'm personally super excited to get out there and go at it. Oh yeah, I've never been to West Point. I don't think many of us have been there, so it's going to be cool to have an away atmosphere. Um, Service Academy is going to be great. We know they're going to be powerful. They're a more senior team like we were last year but we're going to focus on the soccer piece and try to play and keep the ball hot and moving, and I think that'll be the key to our success. On paper, it should be a rebuilding year for this squad, but these young players feel they can become a really good team faster than most expected. We have a belief in ourselves, and uh, we just try to perform for each other. We're a young group. we got a lot of talent in us, just a lot of belief and a lot of heart in this group, and uh, I think every day if you go out, we give it everything we got, and we step on the pitch, we're going to do fine. Are we on power and sync like last year? Not yet. But I don't expect that. I think there's one senior and one junior out there, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So I love their openness to learn and be coached, and they're falling into place pretty well. And some of the freshmen that were preppies are stepping up, and some even got starting positions already.